What's up everybody? This is my Pilot 78G fountain pen. This is fairly new in the collection. Haven't haven't written too much with it. Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just getting around now to review it. A lot to do lately. So uh, let's just get to it. First the cap. You have those two gold bands. Um, the one below is slightly thicker and uh, I think it's a nice touch. It says pilot on here. I think you can see it in the right glare. Gold clip. Um, not super sturdy. Uh, you can squeeze a little bit to the sides and this is not too thick. Um, but it has good retention. Uh, first thing that came to mind when I got it was the sound of the plastic. This feels like very crackable plastic. I won't say cheap, but just crackable plastic. It will crack easily if it gets too much pressure. I think you can hear that. I hope so. Um, I cannot screw this up right now because I have converted this to an eyedropper. No o-ring. O -ring, uh, my o-rings are a little bit too thick. Um, mine are from flashlights, from proprietary flashlights. And uh, I think they, they just don't fit thickness wise and they, they squeeze to the sides and everything. But it originally came with this converter. This is a squeeze converter. And you, I think you can not get this metal thing off of the sack. Uh, it's fairly easy with, let's say this, uh, Hero 007. You know, uh, I took the metal thing off uh, completely, so you can squeeze it a lot tighter and you can fill it up with even more ink. This is a big sack. This one is just about three quarters of the size, I, th I think. Great fountain pen. We'll get a separate review. So, this is the inside just has this plastic barrel on the bottom it has this indention it's not a hole um, thank god <laughs> and uh, the feed has these grooves on the bottom nothing uh, fish tail or whatever it's called um, stuff you know with the uh, horizontal thingies just vertical lines and this is the broad one broad nib gold nib, not real gold but gold colored steel nib also uh, probably steel um, clip and those bands aren't real gold either this is a $9.99 pen and uh, I will provide you a link to the eBay seller you will get it shipped to your door within two and a half or three weeks that was from China to Europe maybe if you're in the US or somewhere else uh, you will get it even faster and I think this is an awesome fountain pen, despite all the negative things I will uh, tell you in a couple of secs. So, broad nib. This one is the... Um, shit, what, what is it called? Not a stub. It's not a stub. It's more of a calligraphy nib, you know? It's, it's just cut off. Uh, what is it called? It's... Uh, you know, other broad nibs have those two ball thingies, they are rounded, this one is just straight and a little bit too straight um, for my preference I have another uh, pen like that, this is a Brause German fountain pen, but this is also oblique so this one is, this one is also very very flexy and very very wet um, the pilot is a little bit on the dry side, you have to work on the nib a little bit. As I said, it's hard as a nail and uh, I just used a piece of steel, uh, also <laughs> aka a knife blade, and just pushed a little bit on the nib and a little bit harder and, and stayed like that just to bend it up a little bit from the feed so it gets a little bit wetter. I think it's wetter now than it was before. Uh, not my favorite nib. Um, just just to say that. It's not my favorite nib. I like to write with it. It's, it's a very light pen, holds a lot of ink. This whole barrel is filled with ink and uh, I measured it because my um, the syringe I use ha has um, a measure on, this, on the side and it's about four milliliters. Okay? I measured four milliliters from here to the threads on the inside of the barrel. 
Um, it's a shiny black finish. It also comes, I think, in top or something, and a grayish green, and a red. The red looks ugly, I think, and I think it's also a light blue one out there. There's a blue one out there. This black one just seemed so classic. Very classy look, as you can see, a screw um, cap. Very classy looking, very streamlined, no nonsense design. <laughs> even the even the clip is completely straight, nothing funky to it. And I think this is very handsome. So I have some standard college ruled notebook paper here. Now you can of course post the pen. Pen doesn't become too large. The threads are not too long in that dimension I mean, so they are not sharp. You can hold your pen really high if you choose to do so. Let's see if I can refocus my camera without shutting it off. No, I can't. Ah, oh, that sucks a cog. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say that. Let's keep it clean. I wanted to say that it sucks a bag of cogs, but I'm not gonna say that. Um, it's, it's a shiny black. I just cap it just for another second. Here you have a Lamy in black, Safari, also very shiny. This one is a Jin Hao, also very shiny. This one is another Jin Hao, but this is frosted black and metal. So this is slightly dimmer and matter. And this one is a really matte black. So you can see the difference there. It's shiny, it reflects the light. Uh, I, th I don't think it looks too plasticky. It could be a, re a resin pen just from the looks of it. Um, it's not. It's a plastic and a fairly breakable plastic. So let's cap the pen. It has a good size. Just next to the Lamy Safari, which is huge when capped. And the nib isn't too big. The nib on the Jin Hao's are, I think, number six nibs. They're a lot larger. And uh, yeah, let's just cap that one. So it's not a huge pen, not a small pen either. I think this has basically um, the same size as, as a ballpoint pen, I would say. Plastic ballpoint pen. <coughs> Sorry. So let's write something. Uh, what am I gonna write? What am I gonna write? So that's how it looks. The feedback you might hear is more pronounced through the camera than than when when you when you're hand, handling it. It really has not so much feedback as you can hear, and uh, it's pleasant to write. Although what is very important if you have this pen, if you want to get this pen, you have to be able to um, to kind of adapt to the habits of the pen. What I mean by that is I personally personally have to hold it to a slightly different angle when I write with it. It's completely uh, dependent on the nib. And I think it, you can see it like that. Um, I have to hold it with a slight rotation to the left side. I wrote with uh, I wrote I write with my right hand. Jesus fuck. So I have to rotate it just a little bit like that. And it writes fairly smoothly due to the nib design. It's very sharp on the edges and uh, it's not super smooth. It's a lot uh, smoother with this oblique pen, oblique nib. And uh, it, it, it just it's just pleasant to use for a long time. Um, you might get used to the a little bit hardness, I want to say, to the nib. And the weight is definitely very, very good for, uh, for extended writing at least. You, your hand doesn't get tired, doesn't cramp up too much. Um, okay, there's now my watch begins. I 
I really like it. What's also quite interesting, this to the f well to the observer um, doesn't look much like a broad nib, but it is because if you write like this on oh, my camera doesn't focus that really sucks. So these three strokes are sideways and this one are just like that. So you can see there is a difference and you can get some nice line variation. Of course it's not a flexi nib at all, but due to the design um, I write a little bit more cursive, you know, uh, uh, hanging to the right my letters. Usually this one is behind the camera, this one seems pretty straight, that's really weird. I usually have a, right, a draft to the right, and uh, that one. Then, then with those strokes, it's really on the slim side, like on those L's or on that H, the upper loop. Um, so that's something to consider if you want a really broad nib. Maybe that's not really what you're looking for, but what I'm looking for is a lot of different nibs, a lot of different pens, which a lot of people, uh, what a lot of people don't understand. Did I just click it on? Jesus. No, everything's still okay. Oh my god, I was so... Got it. Uh, need to gather my thoughts. So a lot of, a lot of people don't, don't get that a fountain pen is not a fountain pen. They don't even get that there are medium and broad nibs and fine nibs and extra fine nibs and all kinds of different nibs and how nibs are ground is important and the finish and the materials of the barrel and cap and, and whatnot, everything. Those are like cars, you know, just because it has four wheels and a steering wheel, <laughs> five wheels, um, it doesn't mean it makes 250. Just just don't. Um, there are so many differences to fountain pens. And uh, if you know Stephen Brown, he has a YouTube channel, of course. If you like fountain pens and you don't know him already, shame on you. You should know him. And he has also a very, very good fountain pen review of this particular pen and a bunch of other pens. And uh, he's a straight up dude, so check his video out too, if you happen to click on this one first. Maybe he'll give you some information I don't. Maybe he'll know what that nib is called, because I just totally forgot, brain fart. And uh, yeah, just let's just, come on, we're 12 minutes into this. Bear with me for another one. Let's just check wetness, like this and like this. Of course, this one is broader because I used it like that and the other one like that. I talked a little bit now and it dried. So let's check it again. It's decent wetness, two, three, four. So on the plus side, it's not so gushingly wet. But literally the ink is, is bubbled up on the paper. This paper is not very absorbent but it dries out, dries out quickly enough that when you, when you have a small notebook or something you squiggle something you can wait two or three seconds and then turn the page and write on another one uh, and not bleed through or anything, not blotch anything. Um, very nice. I like the uh, slightly longer grip section too. It has a lip on uh, below there and as I said you can grip it high if you choose to do so because those threads are hardly hardly to notice they are very very um, short and not sharp at all the step down here is very very much rounded I, I, I guess so so it's it's really nice to hold you can hold down below there like that and, and higher very pleasant to use very light um, maybe I will annotate the weight and definitely the YouTube, uh, the eBay link because it's a $9.99 fountain pen, US dollars. This is a great pen for that price and uh, if you can adapt to the pen just a little bit, um, adapt your writing just a little bit, uh, you, will, you will definitely like this pen. I personally like the black finish the most. So uh, thanks for watching, have a good night, roll tide.